Hey everyone, today's video is going to be another weekly meal plan. I have filmed a few of these videos now, so I will leave a link to the playlist up in the little iCard. Today's video is going to be a little bit different to the last few of these that I filmed because the budget is £15. Pretty sure the last few have all been a £10 budget, but one of you guys commented on the last video asking if I could do a £15 budget instead, so that is what I've done for today's meal plan. It was actually very nice having that extra £5 to play around with. I feel like I could get a few more like variations because when the budget is a lot smaller I feel like it's a lot of the same sort of meals repeated but I'm very excited about today's meal plan it's got some really good meals on it so I will share it with you guys this one is based on prices from Asda so I tend to look at different supermarkets when I do these videos but today's is all from Asda within that £15 budget. In total, all of the ingredients actually come to £14.65, so a little bit less than £15, and that does include like extras that you're not gonna use specifically that week. So overall, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. I feel like whenever I do these videos, they come with a bunch of disclaimers, but the main one is that I kind of assume people have some ingredients in their cupboards already. So things like seasonings, spices, oils, butters, things like that, I don't include in the budget, so that is Something to bear in mind if you guys do want to follow this weekly meal plan and you don't have those ingredients in already you will need to spend a little bit more just to pick those bits up as well but otherwise i'm just going to get started i'm going to read through the shopping list first in this video i feel like normally i chat through the meal ideas and then like the shopping list as i go but i figured it would make more sense just to give you guys everything that you would need if you wanted to follow this meal plan and then i'll chat through the recipes and things that i would do to use these ingredients so apologies if i'm looking down i've got my laptop with the shopping list on it in front of me so the first thing you're going to want is some oats like porridge oats and you can get a kilogram bag of those for one pound five pence that is definitely a key example of an ingredient that you'll use longer than the week because i doubt anyone would go through a kilogram of oats in a week for one person i mean I don't judge you if you do, but more than likely there'll probably be leftovers from those. You're gonna want some bananas, so you can get a pack of seven bananas for 98p. Bagels, now I'm on a little bit of a bagel hype at the moment, so I went a little bit hardcore with the bagels. So I actually got two packets of bagels, 55p each, and each packet comes with four bagels, so that is eight bagels in total, one for every day of the week. You're gonna want some tomato puree for 35p, some grated vegan cheese for pound thirty-five frozen mushrooms for £1.15. Now I've not personally used these before but when I saw them I was like this would probably be such a good shout for things like cooked mushrooms. I mean I don't know how many people eat raw mushrooms anyway but obviously you wouldn't eat them if they'd been frozen but I just feel like frozen mushrooms could be a really good shout and it does work out a lot cheaper. Vegan sausages I went for the Richmond ones and you get eight in a packet of those and they're currently two pounds. Some couscous so you can get those like little sachets that have got all the flavouring and stuff in them that you just need to mix with boiling water so I put two on this shopping list and they are 39p each. A can of chickpeas for 31p, a can of chopped tomatoes for 39p, a bag of of mixed peppers and I think the bag is like 700 grams and that is £1.35. Sweet potatoes for 55p. Now the bag in Asda I'm pretty sure normally comes with four sweet potatoes. Vegan burgers so the bird's eye ones are the ones that I included in the shopping list and they are £1.50 for two. Some risotto rice for £1.40 again one that there'll probably be plenty of leftovers for the following week and then some vegetable stock cubes which are 39p for 12 so again you'll have lots of leftovers of those as well. So that is everything that I've included on this meal plans shopping list. In terms of the meal ideas that I was thinking with these ingredients for breakfast, pretty standard, but porridge with banana. I feel like there are literally zero limitations when it comes to porridge in terms of like how much you can jazz it up. So I've just included porridge and banana as like standard, but you could obviously use anything that you might have in already. So if you've got any other fruits in, if you've got peanut butter, syrups, sugars, anything like that that you can throw into porridge. And then the other breakfast idea that I thought of was pancakes. Now, if you've watched any of my probably vlogs, why eat in a daze, I feel like I have these pancakes fairly regularly because they are so easy to make. And they're essentially just porridge in a different form. So they use oats and they use half a banana and some soy milk. Just realized I haven't technically included milk on this shopping list, but you can get soy milk for I think 55p at Asda or 59p, somewhere around that number. So I think that would still take the budget to around 15 pounds if you did want to include milk in the budget. So the recipe that I use for the pancakes that I make is always half a banana, half a cup of oats and a third of a cup of soy milk. 
you literally just blend that all up and then cook it in a pan super low heat that is like the one tip i would give cook it on a low heat so the actual like batter has time to cook before it gets super dark on the other side and it's literally as simple as that i then top them with the other half of the banana and again you could like jazz it up as much as you want add syrup add chocolate fruit yogurt anything that you might also have in the fridge just to make that a little bit more exciting but those are the breakfast ideas that i was thinking of and then in terms of lunches like i mentioned i kind of went a little bit ham on the bagels because I'm just obsessed with bagels at the moment. I really just can't get enough of them. I would very happily have them every day for lunch. So that is pretty much what this meal plan includes. But I have included a few different ways of using those bagels. So you're not literally having the exact same thing for lunch every day. The first one being pizza bagels. So I made pizza like baguettes in a recent what I eat for lunch during a week video and they were really, really good. So obviously it's just the exact same kind of process when it's a bagel add some of that tomato puree, add some vegan cheese, chop up some peppers that you've got, maybe some of the mushrooms, anything else that you might have in the fridge or cupboard already that you like on pizza, maybe a little bit of oregano, put that under the grill, let the cheese melt and it's so good. I feel like you just can't go wrong with a pizza bagel. Another idea was mushrooms on a bagel. Again, this is something I have quite regularly I love cooked mushrooms, like cooked in a little bit of vegan butter, a little bit of garlic, again so good obviously if you're not a mushroom lover this one won't be for you i feel like mushrooms are quite i don't want to say controversial is not the right word that sounds very dramatic but i feel like people either love or hate mushrooms i'm definitely on team love so this is definitely a go-to lunch idea for me but you could switch it up you could get a can of baked beans instead and have like beans on a bagel i just i love bagels i feel like anything on a bagel tastes better than the same thing on toast so that's another idea and then the final bagel idea that i had was a sausage bagel so just like a sausage sandwich using some of those richmond vegan sausages toasting a bagel a little bit of vegan butter some ketchup some mustard again you can't really go wrong i feel like for a lunch idea bagels are just where it's at i did also include some dinner leftovers as a potential lunch idea in this meal plan as well so the first dinner idea is a veggie tagine and I thought this is the kind of thing that works really well as like a lunch the next day. So I figured that would be a good option as well if you want more of like a cooked warming lunch I guess rather than a bagel. In terms of what I put in the tagine this has definitely been in at least one of my videos before. I will try and link it if I can find it. But I just throw a bunch of stuff in and hope for the best. I don't think I can really call it a tagine. But that's what i call it so i use the vegetarian sausages so i fry those up first normally so they're kind of cooked and already like crispy and then i cook up a bunch of vegetables so you could throw in some more of those mushrooms chop up some of the peppers some of the sweet potatoes throw in the can of chickpeas the chopped tomatoes some tomato puree as well and essentially just like cook that down until it's more of like a I don't want to use the word stew because I hate stew <laughs> so as soon as I describe something as a stew it puts me off it but a kind of stew consistency and then you can chop up the sausages and throw them in as well I have a Moroccan like spice mix that I throw in when I make this and it works really nicely saves you having to get all of the individual spices and I think you can get it for less than a pound at somewhere like Asda so if it's something that you enjoy making I definitely recommend picking one of those up because I don't find that I have to use a whole bunch every time I make it and it freezes really well as well so you can make a huge batch of this tagine and then freeze portions or like I said you can have it for lunch the next day as well and then I also picked up the couscous to go with that so you can have couscous and tagine Perfect mix, super warming, super filling, really healthy, a good way to get loads of vegetables in and tastes really good as well. The next dinner idea is vegan burgers and chips. So I figured you could use some of the leftover sweet potatoes to make some sweet potato chips. Literally just need to chop them up, cover them in a little bit of oil, some seasoning, whatever seasonings you have in your house and that you like on chips throw them in the oven till they're crispy and I feel like you really can't go too wrong with that. The vegan burgers that I included in the shopping list are the ones from Bird's Eye which I haven't actually tried so if any of you guys have tried those definitely let me know what you think. The ones that I normally pick up from Tesco are £1.50 as well and you get two in the packet and they are really good. So if you're near a Tesco I definitely recommend trying those out and it's literally just as simple as cooking the burger. I figured you could use a couple of the leftover bagels as like burger buns 
don't know if that's like a weird thing to do but that is normally what I do because I pretty much always have bagels in and I very rarely have burger buns in so use a bagel as the burger bun fill it with whatever burger toppings you like if you have like ketchup mustard pickles whatever you've got in the fridge that you can throw in and make it a little bit more fun you could always throw in some vegan cheese you could put vegan cheese on the chips and make cheesy chips you could have a bit of salad on the side if you've got like leftover peppers and things that you could chop up vegan burgers are like in my top five meals i think so this is definitely one that i have on a pretty regular basis and then the final meal idea that i've got is a mushroom risotto so obviously the risotto rice the stock cubes and the mushrooms can be used for this really easy again you can jazz it up if you want to it could be as simple as like frying off those mushrooms cooking with some garlic adding the rice and then you just gradually add stock stirring it little bit of like a long-winded dinner but I think it's worth it it tastes great I feel like most people like risotto and again if you don't like mushrooms you could definitely throw anything else in there pea risotto just like a mixed veggie risotto like a Mediterranean vegetable risotto I feel like would be very good you could also throw some of the vegan cheese in there I feel like that could be <laughs> potentially controversial I think some people would be anti that but you put parmesan in normal risotto so probably would work I reckon I mean I personally haven't tried it but I think it would taste good and again you could serve that with some salad if you've got any leftover veggies and again it's a really good meal that you can make and have leftovers of the next day so got a few portions of that risotto and you would still have plenty of risotto rice left as well at the end of the week so those were all the meals that I thought of for this weekly meal plan I will leave the shopping list in the description in case any of you guys want to follow it definitely let me know if you want to see more of these if you want to see any other different budgets different supermarkets leave that in a comment below but otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>